Hey bro, we live in a very sad world where a lot of people are trying to be normal without even understanding what normal is and uh, without even acknowledging why they want to become normal, why they want to be normal. And so in this video, I will explain to you why I think normal is bad. Yes, you heard me right. Normal is bad. Normal equals not good. Normal equals something we want to be as far as possible from. And uh, second, I will explain why being not normal is actually a good thing. Well, these points are kind of the same, but you understand what I mean. So first of all, why I think normal is bad. Let's look at the average American. The average American is overweight or obese. 60% of Americans are either overweight or obese. So this is considered normal. Do you want to be normal? Do you want to be overweight or obese? A lot of Americans are using antidepressants. I don't know if most people, I don't know if it's normal, but a lot. It's definitely, in some age group, it's definitely more people are using it than not using it. So this is kind of normal. Do you want to use antidepressants? Probably not, right? Do you want to work 9 to 5? This is also normal. Most people are working 9 to 5. Do you want to? This is also normal. Most people do not read books. Most people never even open a book. Do you want to be that? Do you want to be a person who never opened a book in his life? So you see what I mean. You see what I'm saying. Normal is not good. Normal is stupid. Normal is uneducated. Normal is fat. Normal is unhealthy. Normal is everything, everything bad is about normal. We don't live in a world where the average pe person is a good guy, is a guy you need, to, you need to be like. We live in a world where normal is not something you want to be like. But usually by normal, people mean that they don't want to stand out from the crowd. Or at least they don't want to stand out in a negative way. This is also not the right mindset. Because you actually do want to stand out, even in a slightly negative way. Why? Because first of all, when you stand out from the crowd, you are getting more attention. What this means is that people will remember you more. People will acknowledge you more. You will get more power. Just power. In the book 48 Laws of Power, there is actually a law that says you need to seek attention at all costs or something something like this. It was phrased something, something like this. So the reason why I want to do this is because when people are acknowledging you, when people know that you exist, even if they don't like you. Sorry, that was another technical pause. So even if people don't like you, but they acknowledge you. This is much, much better than if they don't even notice you at all. One easy example I can give you is... Um, I would prefer to have a YouTube channel with 1 million subscribers, but every single one of them hates me, than don't have a YouTube channel at all. Because if I have, even if all these people hate me, they still watch my videos, they still giving me money. They still giving me, giving me their attention. And so I can use it to earn money. And become more famous. Or infamous. Anyway. You want to be noticed by people. Even in, a, if, even in a negative way. Not completely negative way, but maybe slightly negative. And actually, a lot of things that people are considering not good are actually not not good not not good yeah like i for a long time i thought that my accent is something that i need to remove something i need to fix or conceal yeah you know. but actually now i realize that this is actually a good thing this is something that like makes you remember that me is me like if you watch one of my videos, listen to me um, and like my video or something, 
and then return to my other video in in um like after a couple months or maybe in a year you will remember me because you'll think oh it's that guy with a russian accent this is a great thing and i thought this is something bad and a lot of people think that their qualities some qualities that are not normal normal uh they think it's bad but actually in reality it's something maybe not bad maybe it's something just i can't say that everything is good but it's also not bad it's something neutral it's something you can it's something you can make good like if i wouldn't have this youtube channel probably my accent wouldn't help me in any way but it also wouldn't hurt me right so yeah use your qualities even if they're if even if you think they are negative use them find a way you can benefit from it like me with my youtube channel an accent or just ignore it another way these qualities will help you is that people again people will just remember you more because if you stand out from the crowd if you are not normal People will just, seriously, they will just remember you more. Or more easy. So let me summarize my point now. Do not try to be normal. Normal is not something you want to be like. Normal is bad. Normal eat junk food. Normal plays video games. Normal is sleep deprived. Normal is working 9 to 5. Normal is normal watching porn. You don't want to be normal. Second, use your not normal qualities. Find a way you can benefit from them. If you do not, if you cannot find a way you can benefit from them, just ignore them. They are not bad in any way. They will not bring you anything bad or anything negative. And third, try to stand out from the crowd. Try to be noticed by people. Preferably in a good way. But if you cannot in a good way, then... Find something slightly bad, slightly bad, just a little bit, that will differentiate you from all, all other people. And yeah, subscribe to this Not Normal channel if you want to hear more advice like that. Or look at me growing in my self-improvement journey. And um, I see you in the next one.